Hey, what's up everybody, it's Dan Greer. And today we're gonna be talking all about some of my tips to take action. Now, I gotta tell you something. Let's come over here and let's sit down on my computer. Boom, I'm working in a Airbnb, VRBO, whatever, condo here in Scottsdale this week. And I was just at an event um, for something that was crazy amazing with uh, Grant Cardone and his team. Um, and then this next week I stayed down here. I got a couple days that I dealt with some customers down here, potentially went on pounding on some doors. And um, this week, now then, today, my wife's flying in, I'm picking her up, and we're going to a board of directors retreat that I was invited to that we're doing keynotes on for two full days of doing training. And we're going to work on like core values, a mission statement, a vision statement one day, which I'm super excited about because we're going to go a different direction. I called the guy, I called the, the general manager yesterday. I was like, hey, bud, hey, could we work on your guys' core statements? How do you feel about like working on your, how about like your vision statement and like your core values and stuff like that? Could we go through an exercise with your board of directors so we can build those? Because I don't think you guys have those out yet, do you? And he's like, uh, core values? That'd be amazing. We've never built those. And their company has been around for like a hundred years. And I was like, dude, your people need to know your core values. Like not only your employees, but everybody does. So anyways, my point here is like, my tips for staying motivated arm is that you gotta have like high energy. Okay, like you got to roll out of bed. And so a, a good example is this morning, I woke up at four o'clock in the morning and I was like, oh, it's four o'clock in the morning. Well, actually, I wasn't like that. I whirled over and I was like, oh man, there's no clocks in this room. Who doesn't have a clock in their bedroom? What the heck? Anyways, I was like, there's no clocks in here. So I looked at my phone. I was like, I'm going to get up. I'm going to go to the bathroom because my phone is where I've got to like get up to actually unplug it. So I got up, I unplugged my phone. I went to the bathroom. I was taking a whiz and I was like looking at the clock and I was like, man, it's 4 a.m. All right, Dan, you got two options. You can get up and you can pound the pavement and you can get some stuff done. Or you can go back to bed. You got two options, brother. Which one are you going to do? And I made the choice, the mental tick, to get my butt out of bed and go get some work done. You know what? I've got so much done since I've been up since 4 o'clock. It's like 7.30 right now, 7.45, something like that when I'm recording this video in the morning. So I've got so much done in those three hours. right? Because I've had zero interruptions. And then I was like, ooh. I should be making some videos. So now I'm making some videos. So my my main tips for action is, is when you get the choice to get out of bed and go at chase after your dreams or lay there and have your dream, get out and chase them, number one. Number two, this is going to be a huge tip. You guys ready for this? Do it. Do it. Just do it. What are you waiting on? Just do it. Pops into your head, you need to send a text to your, to your wife? Do it. Pops in your head, you need to send a text to a potential customer? Do it. Pops in your head, you need to send an email to Joe? Do it pops in your head that you need to send a slack message to your entire team do it it pops in your head that you need to call this customer uh, unless it's four o'clock in the morning of course do it right <laughs> you can, pops in your head that you need to go write a sales process do it pops in your head you need to go write your core values do it pops in your head that you need to do this do it i think you guys get my point right quit hesitating quit putting it off you know what we put stuff off for we put stuff off because we're scared to do it if you're scared to do something that means you need to do it now like you need to quit wasting time and go get it done if you're scared to go out and beat the pavement and knock on doors then get your butt out of your house at 7 a.m go around hit the construction sites start knocking on doors you hear me do it right so instead of laying in bed and having your dreams get up and actually chase after your dreams get it done all right number two is when something comes up and you think you need to do it just freaking do it don't wait that's my tips for getting stuff done. That's my tips for staying motivated. The other thing that's my secret arsenal is eating good. When you eat good, it makes you feel better. I go eat a bunch of greasy crap. I feel like a bunch of greasy crap, okay? But if I'm eating some nice good greens and I feel really good about what I'm eating, some good red meat, whatever, you know, I like it all. Um, I feel good. And figure out what makes you feel good when you eat. And then don't overeat. That's another big thing, okay? For like getting stuff done. You're overeat, you get all sluggish. You're like, I just overeat. I don't want to work no more. Okay, the other thing I'm going to tell you is this. Close all the extra crap on your browser. Get rid of the games on your phone. Turn off all your notifications on everything. That's my biggest productivity hack, period, besides just getting it done, is turning everything off so you ain't got no distractions. My computer ain't making no noises, period. My phone ain't making no noises, period. The only time my phone vibrates is when I get a text message or somebody calls me because those are the two things that's important to me. And I tell you what, if I look at my phone and I see the who's calling, I'm in the middle of something and it's like, hey, this is Joe Blow. I'm going to be like, hey, Joe Blow, you're going to have to wait. Leave me a message, I'll call you back. Joe Blow, don't leave me no message. You know what happens? He shoots me a text. He's like, hey, Dan, check this out. And I check it out, and I'm like, hey, I like it. I'll respond back to it when I get a chance to. And you know what? They get it. People get it. It's not a big deal. 
Don't allow yourself to get distracted. So many times when you don't want to do something, you allow yourself to get distracted. Oh, I don't want to watch this training video on sales. Oh, I don't want to call these people to make a sale. Oh, I don't want to write my sales process. Oh, I don't want to send this email. Oh, I'm scared to send this estimate. What if they say no? Oh, you know what? What happens when you want a cup of coffee? You're going to make a cup of coffee. You don't hesitate because you'll be scared of it. But when you're trying to watch that sales video, you're going to be like, I need a cup of coffee. Oh, I need to wash dishes. Oh, I need to do this. When you got that presentation you need to build, you're going to be like, oh, I got this and this and this and this and this. And I need to go rearrange my bookshelf. And I need to clean my desk. And I need to go, you know, change some underwear in my underwear drawer. And, oh, I better go take a shower. Oh, I took a shower this morning, but I need another one today. Uh, I, need, I need to dust the fan. All that crap don't matter. That ain't pushing you towards your goal. That ain't getting you to get done. That ain't giving you no motivation. That's my tip. All right. Chat with you guys later.